Doctor Doom is the main villain, and we chose him because he not only is the most iconic uh, Marvel villain, but he's also a character that would be able to put together a plan as elaborate as the story in the game. You will see the first uh, ramifications of him having this cube. The story will slowly unwind and we'll get little snippets here and there about what he's up to as well. The opening chapters uh, starts with some of the breakout at the raft, the supervillain prison. They will see the forces working to break these villains out. They will get to fight a couple of these villains. Over time, the player realizes that his hero is being drawn into a deeper and deeper story, that what seems like a small, isolated event is actually part of a much larger plotline. This is a story so large, we probably couldn't even do it in the comic books without it taking like 75 issues. We really wanted to make this an authentic Marvel experience. We wanted to you know, make sure that that was seen in the game as well. All of our cutscenes are taking the form of these motion comics that are being written by Brian Michael Bendis, drawn by a variety of Marvel artists, and being voiced by voice actors who have played these characters in the past. I am Charles Xavier, and I have dedicated my life to educating and training mutants. In Marvel Heroes, uh, what we were most excited about when we were creating the story was that it gave us this ability to create almost like a Marvel Universe travelogue. We've tried to weave in small stories into each of the areas and zones that you move through. Some of them will be very subtle, some of them might be a little more overt. We want to make sure that if you're curious about those things, there are answers hiding for you someplace. Every zone also has uh, some sort of event that is occurring there. Uh, and some zones even have more than one event. In the beta here, the Electro attack is the first example of this, but this is just a, a sample of it. We have other tricks besides just kill the boss. <laughs> uh, there'll be a whole bunch of other techniques that we'll use for people to participate in these zone-wide events. It's clobbering time! Each of our characters has a huge pool of lines that they're gonna be pulling from, you know, upwards of 500 plus lines. So there's over 9,000 lines of dialogue in the game. Forward, comrade, to victory! As a writer, it's great to have um, these voice actors coming in and giving voice to the voices in my head. This is like fighting a funhouse mirror. It's important that Spider-Man be a little snarky and then Deadpool has jokes. He even tells he knows he's in a video game. How much XP are you worth again? We got to develop a really nice banter system. So if you're playing as Cyclops and I'm playing as Wolverine, we'll say X-Men-ish things to each other. Hey, Boy Scout, ready to win your badge and butt kicking? Sometimes even if characters who have not interacted with each other in the past or who have had minimal interaction with each other, we'll say specific things to each other. Hey, Webhead, do you have a wall to climb? NPCs is one of those places where we got to dip a little deeper into the well of characters. Marvel fans will recognize these characters, no question. Uh, there are 8,000 characters in the Marvel Universe. Not all of them are really gonna be playable, but it wouldn't be very fun to play Jarvis anyway. So it's not like you're gonna see random S.H.I.E.L.D. Agent A and he's gonna be your main quest giver. You're gonna be talking to like Jamie Madrox, Multiple Man. You'll be talking to Shauna the She-Devil. All of the characters that come out in it are something from the Marvel Universe. So the story is more of an ongoing story. Uh, this is just the beginning, it's not the end. We'll be able to continually add to the story as the product goes live and beyond. And this is just the start, the nucleus of, of what we're trying to do. Ultimately, it's like a nice, big, deluxe, hardback collection of your, of your favorite limited series, but we're standing outside the comic store and handing it to you for free. No matter if you're a fan of the movies, or the TV shows, or the comics, you come here and you can be part of the Marvel Universe.